Well, I thought I would show you. I'm spinning around the house doing like 10 different things. Like I was ironing some Christmas towels. I'm trying to get a little Christmas. I don't know why I'm just getting in the mood. I'm trying to get myself in the mood. But anyway, I'm doing like 10 things at one time. So this, I'm about to make banana bread. And it's super easy. It's so good. And when your bananas get like this, and they're really kind of mushy, not good to eat, this is the best thing to do. So I will put it all together because I my stand is not working right. I got to get my son Clayton tighten it up. Um, but I just wanted you to see basically it's just vanilla and salt and I use this Mediterranean salt and so it takes way less because it's way stronger. Um, I like to put a little bit of honey. You can put sugar or honey but um, I put sugar and then like it's actually three-fourths cup of sugar so not a whole cup. And then I just squirt like a little bit of honey in there. It makes it, I don't know, seems like it makes it moist. And then this is four tablespoons of butter. Oops, it's gotten cold. <laughs> it's got to be melted. So I'm going to warm that up again. And this is just flour, different flours because it's gluten-free. And um, that's it, bananas. I mean, how healthy is that? Organic sugar, does this look delicious to y'all? <laughs> it is. Anyway, my kids don't like nuts, but you can put chocolate chips. You can put nuts. You can just make it however you want to. And I like to put parchment in the bottom of the loaf pan there, partly because my pan is super old and it just doesn't stick. And then I'm actually making spaghetti over here, which is pretty much already done. Just um, actually did this little creamy um, sauce tonight. A little vodka in there, just a tiny bit. Makes it super delicious, or white wine, whatever, it doesn't matter. And um, I'm gonna cook this gluten-free pasta deliciousness. And then, here's my little bit of Christmas I was doing at the same time. This is my first little Christmas section right here. <laughs> and it's super cute. Well, that's not Christmas, but I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to put a lot more stuff out. And I have to get a pot for right here. Don't look at that. Um, I just bought that plant today. Anyway, a um, little Santa, but look what this says. This is what I love about this pot. Let's see if I can get you to see it. It says, Believe. Fabulous. And this says Merry Christmas, y'all. So I love that. This has little stars in it. Okay, so that's my first little Christmas section. Then I was over here and I put my plates here and my forks because I'm about to set the table. But then I realized, oh, I can't set the table because I haven't done my flowers yet. <laughs> so I'm about to do the tulips. And then I thought, I need some candles. These are my happy candles. They literally spread happiness. I know I've showed them to you a million times, but I don't care. I love them. And, um, then over here, I'm going to do some garlic bread. So this is my pan. I'm going to put the Udi's gluten-free bread. I'm going to put some butter and garlic on there. And then I'm going to make a salad in that bowl. See, it's good to be ADD because you can do all these things. Then, what was I doing over here? Oh, over here, I... Oh, here's another little bit of Christmas in my candy dish. <laughs> I put some Christmas candy. And these are the leftover flowers. I, I really try never to throw anything out. Like, I don't know. I especially flowers, but I'm starting to get even thriftier, but I really, look how great that looks when you put it in like just a little round bowl. It's super simple, but I had to light a candle because I don't know, I just really like to light candles and it was cold. So I turned the fire on and this is my new poinsettia I bought today. Another pop little thing of Christmas. And I'm going to put that right here in this. So I'll kind of show you how it's going to look, but since I have the fire on, I'm going to set it like well, you know, I'm trying to film and show you. So I'm actually going to put it more in the front. So as if it would look more like this, something like that. And that's a wine box. And I don't know if I showed you these, but we love to do this every year. I buy these nuts. They're like walnuts, pecans. Um, what else is that? Uh, chestnut, maybe almonds. Anyway, and then these are like nutcrackers. I guess y'all have these. My grandparents gave me these and then this actually helps you pick the nut out and that's the coolest thing but I don't know we just love to sit here and crack the nuts it's sort of like a Christmassy thing <laughs> I don't know it's kind of weird really but whatever it's super fun so that is the 10 things actually oh and then I